Hello dear students, myself Amit Agarwal, Senior Faculty Mathematics, Akash Institute, Kota. I have been mentoring J aspirants from last 21 years. Today, we are going to discuss different strategies for your coming up J main exam. Why different strategies for different kind of preparation level? Suppose you have finished your 100% of syllabus or might be that you have finished 70 to 80 percent or I'll be telling you the strategies if you have completed 50 percent. Yes, you heard it right, 50 percent. Still, you have a good chance to score very good marks in J main. So, if you have completed 100 percent syllabus, then few points, few advices will be first of all, solve lengthy questions like they asked in J main 2020, 2021 and 2022. Okay, give mock test. Second piece of advice will be give mock test regularly, very frequently and analyze your speed versus accuracy. Identify your weak area and work upon that. Either it may be speed or accuracy. Third point, solve some advanced level problems. Okay, the fourth point will be make sure that you solve the past three year papers in proper exam condition and do analyze them. Now, let's move that if you have completed 70 to 80 percent of your syllabus, then first thing, leave the chapters which you have not studied, okay? Just focus on your strong areas. Second point will be focus on accuracy, don't go on speed. Whatever you solve, solve them accurately, okay? Next point, next point will be give at least two, three mock tests in a week and Analyze, analyze your performance in your strong areas. Okay, now let's move on those who have completed 50% of the syllabus. First point will be leave the chapters which you have not covered. Okay, just focus on your strong areas. But yes, while leaving the chapters, don't leave some easy chapters. Okay, so please do cover them. Done. Second point will be solve J main 2015 to 2019 papers. Then, yes, you can solve afterwards J main 2020, 21, and 22. Okay, give one mock test weekly. And again, I'll advise that try to score 50% marks. See, have a positive mindset. 50% marks are good enough. Your desire for success should be greater than your fear of failure. So positive mindset is very important. Now, some general piece of advice is for everyone. Make result oriented strategy, not learning oriented. Don't get stuck into a particular topic or particular chapter, hows and whys of the chapter. Okay, second, take at most care of your health. That is very important. Now, the next point will be have a positive mindset. Stay away from distractions, negative people, negative influences. See, your mind works like whatever we tell. So, better tell the positive things. Then, the point will be make the formula sheet for every chapter and revise them weekly. Do attempt the mock test as I told you already and identify your mistakes and try to learn from your mistakes. Mistakes are the proof that at least you are trying. At last, remember, productivity is the result of commitment towards intelligent planning, focused efforts, and dedication. Thank you.